Hi everyone, Parratiker here. Today we're going to be looking at the WD Easy Store. The drive is very lightweight. I mean, it, it barely feels like I'm holding anything right now. And you know, just like most other WD hard drives, it is very durable. Um, I really do feel like if I were to drop this right now that nothing would happen to it. It has a very sturdy feeling outer, uh, outer shell. You know, I have, I have some other external hard drives that are not WD, WD brand, and I actually don't feel too confident about bringing them out in public because of how cheap the outer shell feels. One of those being the Seagate Expansion external hard drive. I have a one terabyte version of that, and it, it feels a little cheap. Yeah, the, this one right here, actually, the one I was just mentioning, the Seagate Expansion. I mean, it, it, it's decent, but I really, the plastic just feels a little bit cheap, and I don't know how I'd feel bringing this around, you know, different places, especially if I might possibly drop it. I honestly have been a Seagate fanatic for years. Um, I've bought almost everything Seagate, but recently I got a WD Caviar Blue hard drive for my gaming PC, which is behind me right now, and um, I've had really good luck with that hard drive ever since. So I decided, you know, Best Buy actually has this one in stock. I'm going to get it. By the way, this is a Best Buy exclusive model of the hard drive. You can get the WD Elements hard drive, which is almost the same thing on Amazon or any other place for the same price, I might add. But th this is just basically what Best Buy has. It's the equivalent. They have in other storage capacities as well. Um, I believe there's a two terabyte and a one terabyte version. I'm not entirely sure on that, but the, the one I'm holding right here is the four terabyte version. So if you're looking for a large amount of storage, you know, especially for video stuff, like what I'm using it for, then I would definitely go with the four terabyte. But anyways, uh, back to the benefits of this hard drive versus other ones. It only costs about $110 at Best Buy. That's, that's right now at least. Um, it was on sale. I don't know if it's, if it's like a permanent sale or whatever, but I would go ahead and pick it up. That, that's a really good deal. Now, the WD Elements hard drive on Amazon right now is the same price, and same, same goes for the uh, Seagate expansion for a terabyte. All three of those have the same price right now. So, you know, if you're looking for a for a terabyte hard drive, I personally recommend the WD just because of the quality that you get from these and the reliability. But if you do love Seagate, you can get that too for the same price right now. Now for anyone who's trying to use this hard drive on a Mac, I will uh, guide you guys through the process of how to set it up for a Mac because of course, uh, out of the box is formatted for Windows and it won't work correctly on a Mac if you try to use it right out of the box. Um, so I, I, I did have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, I have formatted hard drives for Macs before, but um, there's something different about the latest version of Mac that it doesn't, it, it doesn't quite work that well with external hard drives. And I'll, I'll go ahead and guide you guys through that process right now just so that you uh, know how to do it if you end up getting this hard drive. Of course, I'm not going to do this on my actual hard drive right now because I don't want to ruin it because I already have stuff on it. But just so you guys know, right after you get the hard drive, go ahead and plug it into your Mac. And uh, once it pops up over here, enter the following commands into the terminal. So first, you're going to type in disk util, which is um, the command for disk utility, list and make sure that's all in one line. Hit enter. And you will see the list of disks that you have connected. Of course, the one that I would want to use is uh, disk three. That's the WD hard drive that I have connected. And then the, the next command you want to do is disk util unmount disk and make sure the D and disk in that command is capitalized. Force disk three and of course uh, replace disk three with whatever um, identifier for the disk that yours is okay so you would go ahead and hit that um, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to mount that disk right now okay so next command is sudo dd f equals backslash dev backslash zero uh, space of equals backslash dev backslash r disk 3 and of course replace the disk 3 with whatever identifier that yours is space bs equals 1024 space count equals 1024 
So I'm not gonna do that, of course, again, but um, you would hit enter after that. Then the next command is disk util partition disk disk three. And of course, you know, we play as disk three with whatever identifier yours is. GPT J8FS plus. And uh, go ahead and put in whatever name you want for your drive. I named mine extra storage, so you know, for mine extra storage, end quote. Make sure that name is, is uh, within quotes, double quotes. And space zero G. Not GB, just, just G. I made a mistake there. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that, of course, but um, you would hit enter after that and wait for a little bit and that should format the drive. So after that, you can go ahead and quit terminal. Then um, go into disk utility. There are a few ways to get into the disk utility. Uh, the way I usually do it is I just press command and space at the same time. That lets you do a spotlight search. You can also get to that by clicking the search icon at the top right. Go ahead and type in disk utility. Open that up. And you'll see your hard drive there. Um, at, after those commands, it should be formatted as HFS extended uh, journal. And you're, you're gonna wanna change that to be a APFS instead. That stands for the Apple file system. Uh, so you're gonna wanna go ahead, um, when this drive is selected, you're, you're gonna wanna hit edit and then Converge to APFS, that's grayed out for me just because I already have it as that file system. Um, but yeah, after you do that, it will run as Apple file system. You can run it as HFS extended if you want. Um, just realize that the Apple file system is a little more optimized for the current version of Mac OS. Uh, and it's just gonna run faster in general. Uh, it works better. It's more reliable, works faster. Um, I'd highly recommend it. But if you, for some reason, have a preference towards HFS extended, you can do that too. All right, so uh, after that's done, your Mac should be ready. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you disliked it, and make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Goodbye everyone, and I will see you in the next one.